Hello, Plastic Model Builders. I am Ari Stone with Plastic Model Builder, and this is part 11 of the Tommy F35A Lightning II in 148th scale. It is the F35A. Uh, in this video, we are going to finish putting on the stencil decals, the hook decals that they have, some other decals. We're also going to paint the wheels. We are going to paint the canopy frame, and we are going to put decals inside of the canopy. Yes, they have decals that go inside the canopy. So that's that. We're going to get to it. We're going to show you everything here. I've just put on some no steps. Uh, these are the stabilizers. Don't forget to hit the like button. I love likes. That way you could see some model making madness as it happens. You know how that goes. We're gonna make this look as pretty as possible. That way, you know, the model looks decent. So a lot of these no steps, they go all around the plane. I'm not gonna show you all of them. I'm gonna show you a good bit of them, but not all of them. Uh, you see these go around like the little gun area, I believe, at least I think that's a gun area. I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on that. I'm not that familiar with how the plane goes, but uh, you can also see how the ram coatings fit on there. Uh, you need to make sure they line up right. Mine were off just a little bit. That's okay. Put a little bit of decal setting solution on. Some of these decals, they are very small. So just pay attention to where they go. You see we've got our rear stabilizers right here. Uh, just more ram coatings. Lots of them. Uh, you see how many videos we've done so far of decals. This is the third one. We're just about done with them too. So there's another little one right there. I'm going to put that on. Uh, keep watching because we will show you the uh, clear decals that go inside of the canopy. With those, I cut out the clear parts around them. How I did that, I don't know. Um, I don't show that, but they are very thin decals, or at least the line is thin that is there. Remember to allow notifications, by the way. Uh, that way, if you like my videos and you wanna see more of them and you subscribe to the channel, you will get the notification and you can watch it as we do our live premieres, which is nice because we do a little chat. Sometimes I'm the only one there, sometimes I'm not. Uh, you can see right there, that is where the uh, rear engine nacelle will go, the turbine, the engine exhaust, I should say. More nose steps, like I said, they're everywhere on this plane. We've got this right here, another little decal. Lots of them, like I said. Uh, I don't know what this is, but it goes in. Just make sure the orientation is correct. It's very difficult to tell which way it goes. Just be careful with it. Got some little danger symbols right here for your intakes. This goes by the uh, front there. Then you got your rescue latches, things like that. As you can see, the plane is coming along nicely. There's a really small one right there. Just a little circle. I don't know what it does. And we've got this right here on the one side. I'm gonna get one on the other side as well later on. You see me putting that there. There's another little miscellaneous decal. Clearly not no steps, because you're not gonna step there. Uh, but you see these little guys going on right here. As I said, orientation, it's important. Remember, join the live chats on our premiere days that we have, and we will talk. I like the super chats and all that good stuff. Even donate money. I don't mind, and I won't complain, especially if you like my videos and you want to see them keep on coming. It helps me do them. So, we got a little danger. I broke that decal, and you can see me putting on the tip of the arrow right there. Not a big deal. It's model making madness to make this thing look pretty. Got another one, you see how that goes right there by the cockpit. Then you got this one right here, it's just straight down. I don't know what that's for. Somebody I'm sure will enlighten me. Another one of these, I don't know if these are like vents or grills or what they are. Never seen one of these planes in person, although I have seen an F-35. They have one, some engines by the way, have an F-35 in a museum. I'm sorry, an F-22. They do have an F-35 engine that for the vertical takeoff in the Smithsonian as well, if you ever feel like going to see that. Now we got this little decal right there. It goes in the center. Got this right here. And this goes right there. Lots of little decals, as I stated earlier. Little diamond shapes. Make those look pretty as well for model making madness. 
I can never ever say that enough because it's fun to say, so maybe you should say it with me sometime. More little danger symbols, whatever they are. Got some over here. And you saw those two that go right there. You see the models coming along nicely, and there's where I accidentally rubbed a hole in the paint. Not a big deal, it will get fixed. And you have your arresting hook when it has one. You know, for aircraft carrier landings, of course. And you got this little guy right there, it goes right into that little groovy slot. This right here is the door for the ladder. Put that on, mask it off, you can see, make sure those arrows lined up, the little pegs, how that works. A little bit of micro saw, micro set on this, but those decals are really soaked in there. All right, time to build the canopy. Got this little piece right here, goes on. This canopy opens from the front of the nose. It's gonna have these right there, just rest, uh, they go fit inside, you kinda of have to press them together and pop them in carefully when you put this onto the plane if you're doing an open canopy. Got our wheels two rear and one front you see how that goes just like that will look nice put those together two halves just like that goes together very easily I will do some little bit of primer you got some uh, antennas right there tubes I think they're antennas though just a little bit of a uh, primer that I use for a Tamiya color, a decanted that I use. Works very well. Lacquer based paint. Through the airbrush, the uh, Badger Patriot 105 that I have and a Badger compressor. So paint this right here. That's the wheel. Won't take you too long. Fairly small. I've got some, as you can see, uh, silly putty little bit of putty there we'll just call it putty inside take my toothpick I push that in there that way give something to bond to and grip just like that so spray that of course I'm not going to show you all this paint these black I just use regular black you can do it however you want to make it look pretty how you want some people use NATO black for wheels uh, you can weather them to whatever you want to do however you make it looks like how you feel a wheel should look like that's on an aircraft. Just like that, that is a real wheel, of course. Fun plane to do. Spray that as well. Uh, the hub will go a nice white color, and we have a little circle that we're going to use for that. Painting this black all the way around. I don't know if I needed to. That's the inside of the frame, so I did that. Now we are going to paint black right here around our window. You see the uh, Tommy masking that came with the kit. You do have to cut it out yourself, but you only really have to cut the edges out that meet up with the glass. Other than, or I'm sorry, not the glass, the edges. Other than that, you don't really need to do it a perfect job because everything kind of goes right on top of each other. Painting that the canopy color why I don't know, I'm sorry, the frame color, because it gets a decal that goes over for the RAM coating. So this is how I did mine, you do yours your way. Paint those antennas, they go the same color as the aircraft. And you see me doing my little repairs, just like so. Take off our mask and you see you got one top layer there, uh, followed by a second layer. These are numbered so you know which way to put them on peels off nicely just like that get the inside and this will be ready for decals yes that's right decals on the inside there's like five of them so here I got my little circle thing that I'm using to paint these hubs like I said they go gloss white make these look pretty too as well for model making manis so you see how the um, axle will go there it's like a peg type deal so it can only go one way and that kind of keeps the wheel sturdy from moving around like some models will do got some landing gear stuff right here that we are going to paint white while we've got that color out i did not prime them you can see that's for the front landing gear 
right there, just little hinges. Got some little touch-ups to do right here since I have my white out. That is for the inside of the landing gear on the front as well. And we've got these right here, just little miscellaneous doodads. I'm painting the best I can. Part of this frame goes white on the inside. You will see that sticking out as the if you are doing a canopy up version for the aircraft. There's that wheel. See how good that turned out. So this is the decal. I'm um, basically I cut off the clear part that was on this. How I don't know because you see that thin gray line, yellow line, whatever it is. I'm just holding this paper in place so this can scoot into the canopy. Just I'm using a toothpick to slowly position these things and then setting solution so it sets in there. Doesn't always stick the best, but do with what you can. And see how that goes, just like that. Now you've got one that goes on the right and the left, and it's got a little curve at the top because there's more things that go around it. I don't know if these are antennas or what that go around the airframe for whatever it is. Maybe somebody can enlighten me to see how we have this going on right now. Another one, just carefully pull it out, just like that off of the paper. Position it however you need to get it on there. Just like that. There's also a decal that goes right in the middle. Just like this. Slowly push it up. Again, use your toothpick to align it. Uh, make sure everything is straight. It does have little grooves and registration in there so you have a good idea where to go. You're not just doing it blind. So that is a good thing. So you see how this is going to look. Like I said, nice and easy. This canopy is also tinted yellow just a little bit. So you can see how that's going on. We have more decals to put inside of here. Look at that. That looks very pretty, I must say. So here we go. You see how it looks like from the top and the inside. Let it dry real good. Now we've got some of these to put in right there. Just position them as you should. And you see there's one, two of those right there. Now this is the RAM coating that goes on the outside. So you got three of these decals. This is the other one. Anyway, this is this video for this next two weeks. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, and like. And as always, until next time, see ya.